Okay, here we go. It's part four now of my birthday special, and we are going to be playing Jeopardy 2003. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way. Okay, adjust the game so it's exactly the way you like. Normal game. Okay, so how many people out there? Player one? Player one, here's your buzz in key. Let's get this show on From the road. The Sony. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Here we one. go, player one. Let's do it. 90s music for 200. Pepsi canceled a deal with her after complaints over the Like a Prayer video. Player one. Who is Madonna? Exactly. 90s music for 400. Every day is a winding road for this singer who used to back Michael Jackson. Player one. Who is Cheryl Crow? Yes, it was, yes, her. It was her. So pick again. Pick again. <laughs> her album, Pieces of You, has been on the Billboard's Top Pop Catalog album charts for over 100 weeks. Player three. Who is Jewel? Exactly. 90s music for 800. The chorus of this Beck song mentions two turntables and a microphone. Player two? What is where it's at? Definitely. 90s music for 1000. In this band's Only Happy When It Rains, Shirley Manson sings, It Feels So Good to Feel So Sad. Player one. What is garbage? Precisely. Pick again. It's a jungle out there for 200. A large knife whose name comes from an earlier Spanish word for mallet. It's handy for cutting jungle paths. Is that it? Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right Shaq response. A. Uh, vice presidency for 200. The vice president serves as the presiding officer, or president, of this U.S. government body. Player one. What is the U.S. Senate? No. No. I'm sorry. Player two. What is the Senate? Exactly. Oh, sting! The vice presidency they won't for 400. The US Senate, but just Senate. Cardiological term often used for the distance the vice president is away from the most powerful office in the land. Player three. What is arm's length? No, that's no. not right. Sorry. Nobody? Cardio is heart. Take a look. Heart Here's pain. the right response. The vice presidency for 600. He told wife Abigail that the vice presidency was the most insignificant office contrived or conceived. Player one. Who's John Adams? Exactly. Uh, it's a jungle out there for 400. The length of this South American water boa may exceed 30 feet. Player one. What is an anaconda? Hey, you're correct. Vice Presidency for 800. Answer, the Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 600. The official music for the Vice President, Hail Columbia, is the equivalent of this march. Player one. What? Well, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's incorrect. This is what we wanted. Hail to the Chief. Jungle out there for 600. About two-thirds of this river's 2.3 million square mile tropical rainforest lies in Brazil. Player one. What is the Amazon? Hey, you're correct. Vice presidency for a thousand. The vice president attends meetings of the president's cabinet and is a member of the NSC, this council. Player one. What is the National Security Council? Precisely. Pick again. It's a jungle out there for 800. Six letter term for the thick covering formed by the tops of trees and vines where many animals live. Player one. 
What is it, canopy? Yes. Uh, around the dungeon for 200. A prisoner doing a stretch in the dungeon may be stretched out on one of these. Player three. What is a rack? Exactly. Around the dungeon for 400. This small device puts a little pressure on your hitchhiking digit. Player two. What is a thumb screw? Yes. Around the dungeon for 600. A flogging with this multi corded whip may leave you with a different type of scratch fever. Player one. What is a cat whip? Oh, that's incorrect. Uh, Player yeah. three. What is a cat o' nine tails? Cat -nine Precisely. Tails. Pick again. Around the dungeon for 800. This maiden is a hollow spike-filled statue or coffin in which a victim is enclosed. Player one. What is an iron maiden? Hey, you're correct. Around the dungeon for a thousand. From the Latin for little hand, they're handcuffs. Player three. What are manacles? Exactly. I'll try tents in the Bible for 200. According to Genesis chapter 13, verse 12, Lot pitched his tent toward this city near Gomorrah. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for was this. Hmm. The autobiography of Ben Franklin for 200. Before moving to Philly, I lived most of the first 17 years of my life in this Massachusetts city. Player one. What is Boston? Precisely. Pick again. It's a jungle out there for a thousand. In 1863, French archaeologists began uncovering the temple of Angkor Wat in the jungles of this country. Player two. What is Cambodia? <laughs> hey, you're correct. Give me the autobiography of Ben Franklin for 400. On June 11, 1776, I was chosen to be a member of the committee that drafted this important declaration. Player one. What is the Declaration of Independence? Precisely. Pick again. Ben Franklin for 600. One of my last public acts was signing a 1790 petition to Congress urging the abolition of this practice. Player three. What is slavery? Mm. Yes. They're always buzzing in. The autobiography of Ben Franklin for 800. At the age of 70 in 1776, I was one of three congressional commissioners to this European nation. Player three. What is Spain? Oh, no, sorry. No, she's wrong. Is that it? Anyone? This is the correct question. Let's go for tense in the Bible for 400. Numbers, chapter 19, verse 14, says, If a man dieth in his tent, everything in it and all who enter are unclean for this many days. Player three. What is 40 days? Oh, that's incorrect. Nope. Anyone? Player two? What is seven? Yes. Tense in the Bible for 600. This apostle from Tarsus was a tent maker by trade. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for was this. Tents in the Bible for 800. When asked, where is Sarah thy wife? He replied, in the tent. Player three. Who is Abraham? That's who we were looking for. Tents in the Bible for 1,000. His son Ham discovered this ark builder drunk and naked in his tent. Player one. Who's Noah? Exactly. And the final answer of the round. I invented this type of double lens for eyeglasses. Player one. What are bifocals? Bifocal lens. Ooh, no, sorry. No! Player three. What are bifocals? 
I have Exactly. Ah. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the screen. Player one, most impressive. You're still in the thick of it, player three. Player two, you're in last place, but you do get to start things off first in Double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Double Jeopardy. Here are the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. Classic Kitty Lips. To serve. Walt Disney. Let's speak Australian, mate. State Superlatives. And here's the last category. Judge Not. I'll try Judge Not for 400. A cutting criticism or a violent closing of a door. Player one. What is slam? Oh, oh, shoot! That is incorrect. <laughs> Anyone? I forgot the M. I got two. Take a look. Here's the right response. Let's do state superlatives for 400. This state with the most people is home to the largest living tree. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is California? Precisely. Pick again. Judge not for 800. Proverbially, to express contempt, you thumb this body part. Anyone at all? Take a look. Here's the right response. Judge not for 1200. As a verb, it's to disparage strongly. As a noun, it's rubbish or garbage. Player one. What is trash? Precisely. Pick again. Judge not for 16. From the Latin for to scatter, these calumnious expressions are cast on others. Nobody? Take a look. Here's the right response. Versions. Judge not for 2000. From Old Norse for grin scornfully, you may do it over your enemy's misfortunes. Player two? What is gloat? Exactly. I'll take Vault Disney for 400. It's the title mode of transportation for 1928's Willie. Player one. What is a steamboat? Yes. Vault Disney for 800. It's the first name of either of the two rescuers. Player one. Who are Bernard and Bianca? Exactly. Vault Disney for 1200. Answer? The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 2600. King Louie is the scatting leader of oh, the monkeys in this, this 1967 animated book. Player one. What is the Jungle Book? Hey, you're correct. Before Mickey, one of Walt's successful creations was this lucky rabbit. Nobody? What we were looking for was this. Oswald. Vault Disney for 2000. If we're heading through the black hole, it's with this Austrian-born actor who played evil Dr. Reinhardt. Anybody? What we were looking for Next was this. Shell. State superlatives for 800. With about 1,040 people per square mile of land, life in this most densely populated state is a real garden party. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is New Jersey? Precisely. Pick again. Superlatives for 1,200. This beef state is a leading producer of commercial red meat and great northern beans. If you'll just watch this, We'll show you the clue. Player one. What is Nebraska? That's the spot, That's the exactly. spot exactly. Exactly. for 1600. The nation's highest flat top mountain, Grand Mesa, is in this state. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What 
is Colorado. Exactly. Superlatives for 2000. The deepest gorge in the United States is this western state's Hell's Canyon. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is Idaho? Hey, you're correct. Uh, classic kitty lit for 400. Character who finally discovered breaking and entering suspect, Goldilocks. Anybody? Player one. Who is Baby Bear? Precisely. Yeah. Pick again. Should have, should have rang that in earlier. Family Kitty name of the three Billy Goats who turned the tables on a troll. Player one. What is Groff? Definitely. Whoops. Louise Fitzhugh character who considers spying part of her young life. Is that it? Anyone? This is what we Harriet wanted. M. Walsh. Kitty lit for 1600. 18th century writer Madame Villeneuve is credited with writing this classic tale as old as time. Player one. What is Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Kitty lit for 2000. The 1968 Newbery Medal went to from the mixed up these of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. Player two. What are files? Precisely. Pick again. I'll try. Let's speak Australian, mate. For 400. Prezies are nice to receive because prezies are these. Player one. What are presents? Yes. Mate for 800. A bluey is a woman with this hair color. Player one. What is red? Exactly. Australian for 1200. We're having a barbie during the Arvo, which is this part of the day. Player one. What is afternoon? Definitely. Speak Australian, mate, for 1600. If you're in the nick, you're this, like the thinker. Player one. What is in the what is nude? Precisely. Pick again. Australian made for two thousand. Something that's genuine or truthful is fair this. Player two? What is Dinkum? Hey, you're correct. Let's try to serve for four hundred. You can serve your leftovers directly from this brand of tight sealing food containers introduced in 1945. Player one. What is Ziploc? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Player three. What is Tupperware? Oh, Precisely. Tupperware. Pick again. To serve for 800. According to their Buffalo, New York inventors, buffalo wings should be served with celery and this salad dressing. Player one. What is ranch? No. No, sorry. Anyone at all? What we were looking for Jeez. was this. To serve for 1,200. Thank you. The Daily Double. Yeah. Did you make your wager, please? Oh, she's betting it all. According to Guinness, this sport's fastest serve Tennis. was 142 miles per hour in 1997. Player three. What is badminton? Ooh, no, oh, no, sorry. What we were looking for was this. <laughs> to serve that one. for 1,600. He served in the Dodger organization for 47 years, retired, and returned as general manager in 1998. Player one. Who is Tommy Lasorda? Definitely. Here's the final answer on this board. The To Serve Man episode of this Rod Serling TV series involved aliens with a taste for humans. Anybody? Take a look. Here's the right response. Twilight Zone. Player three is out.
That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. Player three, sorry, you can't continue on with us in final jeopardy. <laughs> it's that time, folks, final jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, then give you a few seconds to think about your wager. 19th century presidents. Hmm. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. The 1853 novel Clotel, or The President's Daughter, alleges that this man had an affair with a slave. 1853, I gotta think of. Who was Abraham Lincoln? Let's see how everyone did. Your question, player two. Sorry, that's no, it's incorrect. Not Lincoln, so how much did it wrong. cost you? Player one, your question. Sorry, that's wrong. How much did it cost you? Take a look. Here's the Thomas right response. Thomas Jefferson. Congratulations to our big winner. Player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. All right. We'll see you all for segment number five, which is Family Feud 2000 for the PC in just a moment.